welcome back to the Dark Reading News Desk, coming to you live from Black Hat USA. I'm Sarah Peters. Uh, the cybersecurity of embedded systems is always something we have talked about and worried about, but there weren't always so many embedded systems to worry about. Now they're everywhere. In our refrigerators, our electric meters, our car entertainment systems, our bodies, and all full of vulnerabilities. And my next guest is doing his part to help. He taught a course in exploiting these Internet of Things devices, and he also spoke on the topic of IoT security at a dark reading session at Black Hat Asia a few months ago. CEO of Adify, Aditya Gupta. Adi, thank you for being with me today. Pleasure to be here. Now, um, what do you think is the most common mistake that we see um, manufacturers of IoT mm -hmm. devices making when it comes to security? So I think one of the most common mistakes which manufacturers make is they don't think that someone is going to come after their devices. <laughs> they just assume <laughs> that this is going to be secure and no yeah. one is going to hack them. And they are always in a rush to bring the product out to market as soon as possible. I think that's the biggest mistake I have seen so far. Now, when we spoke in, in Singapore in, eight, in a couple months ago, yeah. uh, oh, I think one of the things that we kept coming around to is that some of the mistakes they made were such basic things yeah. too. Is that yeah, is that the, still the case? Yeah, that's still the case. Like I was auditing a smart plug and it was emitting the Wi-Fi username and password. So let's mm -hmm. say I have to compromise the in infrastructure, I can just yeah. attack the smart plug and I can from there get into all the different domain administrators and all the other systems on the network. Mm -hmm. How tough it could be. <laughs> I know, but th so, so we roll our eyes at it, yeah. right? But if we're going to be fair, yeah. Certainly, I'm sure that there are things that the manufacturers say, well, you just don't understand yeah. about us, you cybersecurity people. <laughs> so what do you think are the, the major misconceptions that maybe we have about them, things that we don't understand about the manufacturing side of things that we should understand better? Yeah. I think we as a security community fail to understand that hardware is in software. As in like the software bugs can be fixed with one simple patch, but mm -hmm. the hardware vulnerabilities are in order to fix them, it's really, really tough. And in some cases, you have to maybe even recall the devices, which isn't such possible. So, yeah, most of the security community and the, yeah, the entire security industry just fail to understand that this is a completely new area, and it's, yeah, it's really different. Now, from what you have done, from the penetration tests that you've mm -hmm. done, what's the worst that you've been able to do? So the worst, this, this may sound really ridiculous, but there was an enterprise I was pen testing and they had a Wi-Fi connected coffee machine. So uh -huh. I was able to compromise their coffee machine and get to one of their databases. Uh, obviously uh, with a lot more pivots, but I was able to end up in one of their databases. So Wait, from you got a coffee into a machine database for <laughs> coffee machine? Yeah. That sounds like the kind, now that's the <laughs> kind of thing that we, we talk about as a worst case scenario but the, the kind of thing that we don't think could actually yeah. happen now. Yeah. You say that that happens Yeah, that actually now. happened in one of my pen tests. Yeah. And the enterprises fail to think that a coffee machine could be like the biggest point of compromise. Well, it, it just brings me back to this question of why do we need a Wi-Fi connected <laughs> coffee pot in the first place? Because we like to be smart. <laughs> well, but, <laughs> but some of these smart devices are really stupid. Yeah. Um, in, in your work now, you're doing a lot to uh, talk about exploiting these devices, but also to Im ultimately to improve the security. Yeah. Um, from where you're sitting, how much better are we getting at, at IoT security, mm -hmm. and, and what's being done to make that connection between our side of the fence mm -hmm. and the device manufacturer's side of the fence? Yeah. I think slowly, uh, even the manufacturers are starting to get mature that they should be securing their devices and at least prevent the basic security issues. So like the course I taught last year and this year, there was a significant shift in the mindset on what they should think about the security of their smart devices. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they have at least started to think about it and at least prevent some very, very low level security issues. Is there anything, these, these low level security issues uh, when it comes to things like uh, when it comes to things like your your coffee pot, yeah. your refrigerator, yeah. I get it. What about when it comes to more significant Internet of Things devices mm -hmm. like 
a pacemaker, right. um, stuff that's really hard to to get at, right. um, or the kinds of things that really just can't be updated very often. Right. Um, things that become part of critical infrastructure that 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 bring, invites a whole new set of, of challenges that I think a lot of cybersecurity people still don't really think about. No. Um, what is your advice for us to all? Uh, <laughs> what's your yeah. advice for all of us to try to uh, to uh -huh. do to try to improve that that kind of side of it? Yeah, I think the advice for both the manufacturers and the security community is manufacturers should at least start thinking about various aspects in which their device could be attacked. Like there could right. be. A, hardware-based attack, there could be radio-based attack, like you talked about radio the yeah. pacemaker. So what if someone can craft a radio packet and send it to a pacemaker and probably even kill you? So yeah. those kind of attacks. And security community should start looking into contributing to the overall IoT security in general so that manufacturers could learn from it. Well, Adi, it's been a pleasure talking to you again. Such, yeah. love to talk to you. Thanks for having me. Adi Gupta from Adify. Stay where you are. We'll have more from Black Cat at the news desk after the break.